Good afternoon, Grace family. I want to thank all of you guys for your continued support and prayers and encouragement for continuing to show up and care and share and give. You guys have done an amazing job over the last few weeks, uh, actually this whole time of expressing your support and encouragement to the staff. We feel that and we are absolutely grateful. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I also want to say thank you to our staff here at Grace. And they have done an amazing job of adapting and trying to do their very best to find ways to to creatively serve and minister during this time and you are blessed with an amazing staff and I just want to give them a shout out as well. If, if you worshiped with us yesterday, thank you. It was great to worship with you, whether you were online with us or in the parking lot with us yesterday. Man, we had a great day of, of worship together and, and I want to say a special word of thanks to those of you who were in the parking lot with us yesterday and who wore a mask and socially distanced, even though that's really not your thing. And I know who you are. <laughs> I, I know that some of you, and I just want to say thank you, uh, especially to you guys, uh, just out of respect and for where we are. I appreciate you and, and your attitude and, and just us coming together there in the parking lot yesterday was great fun. It was great to get to see many of your faces and, and just want to encourage you guys again. It's fun for me as as the pastor to get to see people's faces here on campus. But just want to encourage you again, there is not a better way to worship right now. It's not uh, whether you're here on campus or you're online. Uh, it's just whatever's right for your family at this time. So just want to encourage you just to continue uh, in that over the next few weeks. This Sunday, we're actually going to begin to worship inside the building. And so I'm excited about that. Uh, if you are worshiping, are worshiping with us online at 930, nothing's going to change for you. You just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I talked to a, a few folks last week who said that they were getting together with, with some other couples and they were having breakfast together and then they were all going to watch the worship service online together. I love that idea. That is so awesome. So if you're still worshiping online and, and you've got a small group or some friends or family, you want to get together and, and, and come together and watch it online together. I think that's awesome. If you're doing it at home alone, that's cool too. Once again, however you choose to worship, worship during this time. Uh, figure out what's best for your family and what, what the Holy Spirit impresses upon you. And, and you'll be okay with that because I'm okay with that too. Now, if you want to come to campus this Sunday, we're going to have two different opportunities to worship on campus this Sunday. It's not going to be like last Sunday. This Sunday's different. Uh, our first opportunity for worship is going to be at 830 Sunday morning in the Student Ministries building. And that is going to be our traditional worship service that has traditionally happened at 830 30 in the morning uh, in the chapel. So if you want to come to the traditional worship service where we sing hymns with a piano, uh, then that worship service is going to happen at 830 in the student ministries building. That gives us room to spread out in there. So that's one opportunity. The second opportunity to worship on campus is going to be at 930 here in the worship center. And so if you're online, you get to see us online, but this Sunday, there'll be some people in the building. So you can come at 930 on campus in the worship center. If you're going to join us on campus, I'm asking you to sign up online. We're going to go ahead and set the worship center and the student ministries building up ahead of time. We'll have seating ready for you when you walk in. So if you will sign up online for us, that will really help us to get things set up and to get things prepared for this Sunday. The earlier you sign up, the better and easier it is on us. So we would love for you guys to sign up by Wednesday. If people come in on Sunday, we'll have space for that as well. It will just help us as a staff to prepare the space for this Sunday. If you would sign up ahead of time. Uh, we'll be asking everyone to do the same things that we did last Sunday for those who were on campus in the parking lot. We'll ask you to wear a mask while you're in the building. Uh, we'll ask you to observe the six foot social distancing and we'll ask people to refrain from physically touching. And so that's kind of where we are. We're going to look at that weekly. I meet with the church council this Thursday night to kind of see where we are and we will continue to evaluate uh, how we move forward in the weeks ahead. But that's what we're asking this Sunday. Uh, this Sunday on campus, we will not have coffee and donuts. I know that's a tough one. Uh, we will still not have a nursery or kids church. It's called family worship. Uh, we can do that. And so we'll have some packets for the kids if you bring your kids with you. And we'll just have everybody here in this space together this Sunday. If you have questions about this, give me a shout. I would love to hear from you. If you have comments, thoughts, 
good comments or thoughts, I would love to hear from you guys to hear what you're thinking, what's going on in your life right now. Just want to encourage you to pray for our seniors. We got 17 seniors that graduated from high school this year. And as a church, I've asked all of you guys to be praying for them. Uh, this week. And so I've sent you an email. You should have that email Uh, on Facebook. You can see a list of our seniors. Some of you received this. You were on campus yesterday. You got this right here, the pamphlet with our seniors in it. Let's be surrounding them with prayer. Their senior year year ended in a weird way, but man, we're going to launch them into the next season by lifting them up before the father. So join me in praying for our seniors this week. I look forward to seeing you guys Sunday. Whether that is online or on campus, now we are worshiping together. God is building us up, He's strengthening us. We're going to come out stronger than we ever were before. Better things are yet to come.